guys, welcome back to the Tiny Lab Build site. It's nighttime in Florida. We had the windows open. I'm wearing a short sleeve t-shirt. We were sweating. It's awesome. I love building in Florida in the wintertime. Uh, I am doing something pretty cool right now and I wanted to make sure that you got to see this. First of all, this is part of our ventilation system. The ventilation system for the Tiny Lab is incredibly important because number one, it's going to be a very tight house, very airtight. That's important and that's very, very cool. Everyone wants an airtight house, period. Whether or not you know that you want that, that's what you want. Uh, I will explain why on the Proof is Possible tour, so definitely come and see us uh, when we are presenting out there. Second thing is that we want to make sure that we're controlling all of the contaminants in here because it's also a very small house. So if there is anything wrong in the house, if we're cooking and there's carbon monoxide being created, which happens every time you cook uh, with gas, or if we take a shower and we're, there's a lot of humidity suddenly, we wanna make sure all that stuff is mitigated because any problem is going to be a huge problem immediately because it's so small. So this is called the Panasonic Spot ERV. It's a, an energy recovery ventilator, ERV. There's another type of recovery ventilator called an HRV, which is just for heat recovery, uh, also for ventilation. Now, the special thing about these systems is that they are balanced. They have uh, an exhaust, just like you would have in your bathroom, an exhaust fan. That's very important. By the way, that it's located over the shower, not over the toilet, because it's not for getting rid of smells, it's for getting rid of moisture. That's the most important job. So we're going to be exhausting the moisture from the shower and then supplying fresh air into this one. We have a balanced amount, so it's equal parts for both of these things. And when they get inside, from this hole right here, I have removed the core. This is the energy recovery core. Uh, what this is essentially is just a two-way filter. So it's got air can move this way through it, and then a totally different airstream can move this way through it, and they do not touch. But what they do is rub up against surfaces, and there's a lot of surface area in here, as you can see from this tiny little grid system, uh, that is going to exchange the heat and the humidity so that we have the same amount of heat and humidity inside as is leaving when the new air comes in. It's not freezing cold and dry or hot and humid when it comes back in. The idea is that it's a balancing kind of effect. So I've removed this, uh, and I have also removed this piece, which is the very top. The reason that I'm doing this is because we have a little bit of an issue. Uh, in the tiny lab, I want for all of the air to move from one end of the tiny lab to the other end, so that there's this constant pushing like a tide. Uh, it'll be a very beautiful thing when it is uh, finally working that way, but what we need is for all the air in the bathroom to leave the bathroom and leave the house. And we want all of the air in the bedroom, which is again an under loft, which you're gonna see more of later, uh, to be fresh. So we want the fresh air to go into the back where the bedroom is and push up and leave the house through the uh, bathroom. So we have two things here. This on the grill is the exhaust vent. It has a little filter built into it, which is very nice. This down here, if you can see this black part, is the supply triangle. Uh, that is this. It corresponds with this little shape right here. Now the problem with this design for our tiny lab is that I don't want to just be mixing the air in the bathroom. I want to depressurize the bathroom and pressurize the rest of the house. So I actually wanted the exhaust and the supply to be in two different rooms, not in the same room, which is the way that this is designed. So. I, uh, one of the things that you get when you work with Panasonic is their amazing technical team. They serve on the committees that make the rules for all of these things, and so they've got some very smart people over there. And one of them recommended a MacGyver uh, modification for this machine, which I'm going to show you how to do right now. So we take this and put it to the side. I have removed the energy recovery core and the uh, cover plate on this, and I'm going to flip this around for you. Now what you can see is generally the, the supply fresh air would come out of here. Uh, what we're gonna do instead is cap this off and have it come through here, through a short duct, and into the next room over, which is gonna be right here. Uh, now in order to do that, I needed to drill a hole in the housing of the fan unit itself using a hole saw. I used a three inch hole saw. Three inches is very, very important. You do not wanna do less because having calculated the net free area of this hole right here, this is a triangle 
a right triangle with sides of two and five eighths and five and a quarter. And when you do the area calculation for that triangle, it comes out to about seven uh, square inches. And the round duct of three inch diameter will give us the same area. It's very important that you're replacing like for like, because if you drill a smaller hole and it introduces a back pressure, that's not gonna let this thing run properly. So after we drilled this hole in the metal, we then also had to drill a hole in the styrofoam inside because there is of course a lot of very well formed uh, styrofoam that is keeping all of this stuff flowing and nice curved edges. Uh, so we drilled a hole in the uh, metal, we then cut a hole in the styrofoam with my handy dandy insulation hot knife. I love this thing, it's coming in very handy uh, all through this process. And uh, now what I'm gonna do is make sure that there is no air communication with anything other than that hole that I just made. I'm going to use my very sexy uh, Proclima Contiga Solido Exo. I love the names of these tapes. Uh, all of this tape that we've been using on the Tiny Lab is essentially equal in sexiness. This one happens to be good for exterior applications, but it's black. So this is kind of a sexy black application. That's why I'm gonna be using it here. I'm gonna be making sure that there aren't any other pathways for the air to go through, to get out or leak into the housing or anything like that. So once we've done this, then I have effectively turned this into a very, very tiny ducted energy recovery ventilator that is going to serve two rooms. It's gonna depressurize one room and pressurize another room. We are then going to do another thing with the ventilation, which I'm gonna show you later when we install all this stuff. But I just wanted to show you this modification uh, right off the bat. So thanks very much for watching. Please remember, subscribe. We'll keep on giving these really special weird tips of things that we're doing. Uh, and like our Facebook page, come out and see the Tiny Lab when it comes to 20 cities. One of them is gonna be near you. Thanks very much for watching. Tune in next time.